So my journey as a cybersecurity professional, well, that would have started back in 1999 uh, as a career changer at a Microsoft certified technical education center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So um, I had uh, researched a little bit IT certifications and decided I want to try my hand at getting my MCSE, uh, fully intending to become a network administrator. And that started off with a plus certification and the first course in that pass was computer hardware pc hardware basics so i started taking the class and, and couldn't get enough of it big fat scott mueller book that i would just mow through um, i was taking every opportunity i could uh, to get in and, and practice my skill sets uh, doing hardware repair for the training center um, that actually led to an internship uh, with the training center and ultimately that did lead to a full-time position and then eventually an instructor position. Uh, but in the meantime, I'd, I'd heard somewhere that if you can explain it to somebody, then you fully understand it. So when they offered me the opportunity to teach the night hardware course about 11 months later, I took it kind of like a bet and purely for self-validation. I want to see if I could truly describe it to somebody else. And if so, then I, I understood it. And then I figured out uh, completely by chance that I absolutely love technical instruction and teaching this stuff. So I fell into it completely sideways uh, and have been doing instruction in some capacity ever since. So coming up on about uh, 22 years of, of IT instruction. Uh, the courses and programs that I teach, uh, historically I taught the gamut of vendor neutral certifications, Microsoft certifications, and in 2005 uh, my life changed, literally, uh, second morning of day two of CEH training, I decided this was way too cool to not focus on, and I decided I was going to make security my primary focus and I've been doing security ever since. So since then I've been teaching CEH. Uh, ECSA, CHFI, CND, uh, Instant Handler, LPT, uh, and a variety of other EC Council catalog courses. Uh, I've been doing them for coming up on 16 years now. So security has been my primary focus since that day in 2005. And I, I, <laughs> I tell the story in class that I literally figured out what I wanted to do when I grew up about mid-morning of CEH day two training. And I've been focusing on security ever since. Uh, why have I chosen to teach the CND course? Um, what I explain in, in my, my classroom instruction is that, that CEH is kind of the core nucleus that everything else in information security orbits around. So it's all based on what the bad guys are doing and what their tactics and techniques are. Because let's face it, in information security, we're, we're trying to keep the bad guys out. So everything kind of floats around CEH. You've got the detective side with forensics. You've got the offensive testing with ECSA and CPENT. Um, you've got the incident response and mitigation. And then you've got the defensive side, which is what CND addresses. So CND is the defensive posture or the defensive side of the, of the CEH coin. So it gives me an opportunity to talk about all aspects of security, the offensive, the defensive, the detective, and the proactive um, network implementation and hardening ahead of time. Uh, my experience teaching CND. I actually have uh, my experience to teaching CND goes all the way back to version one. CND came out in September of, of 2016, and I'm usually uh, involved in like the beta testing and early adopter, and reviewing the courseware in the lab environment. So I, I passed the exam for the first time, reviewed the courseware in August of 2016, and I started teaching the course uh, pretty quickly thereafter. So um, my initial preparation for the certification was pretty much like any other course that I prepare for. Um, I didn't get the luxury of taking the class, I almost never do. Uh, as an instructor, I'm generally prepping to teach it um, versus having the luxury of, of taking the class. So uh, my preparation methodology is pretty consistent across most classes that I teach. It starts with a comprehensive view of the courseware, uh, review the lab environment, uh, and then working through lab exercises, uh, creating a list of study notes and so forth, and then ultimately taking the exam. So the preparation initially, uh, a lot of the information in CND, the way it's organized 
is is wonderful. It, it wraps a lot of foundational concepts into one discussion. So the the subject matter and the knowledge base I was pretty familiar with from other courses, but C and D had kind of wrapped it all together in in one delivery. So um, my initial preparation wasn't that difficult. Um, for version two, it actually encompassed a lot more information. So the preparation for that one was definitely more time consuming because such so, so much more content and um, more comprehensiveness has been wrapped into that course. So the new version of CND version two is a substantial uh, update and change from version one, especially the lab environment. Uh, it includes lots of great material for multiple domains and it's definitely more inclusive and, and more holistic. All right, three things I really liked about the CND program. Um, the, um, the, the relevance, it was definitely very useful information on one package, uh, the comprehensiveness, uh, and the organization. Uh, the way everything was put together was a great foundational network defense course. It wrapped a lot of the best features of different knowledge areas and, and subject matter into one delivery. So I really liked the packaging initially, the original 14 modules, and the new version, they added a lot more into that and made it even more expansive. So um, I guess the organization and the way it's put together is, is my favorite uh, thing about the CND program. How has CND benefited my career? Uh, it's given me a different demographic to train. Um, I've uh, historically focused on uh, the offense of the CEH, uh, the forensics, the detective, uh, the incident response, the pen testing. So CND allowed me to touch a different demographic and a different audience base that I, I wouldn't normally have in my primary core catalog of courses. So I get to um, bring security to the network administrators uh, and the defenders where primarily I've been working with you know people are security professionals already or making a career change into the offensive side. So I uh, increased my, my reach uh, and my, my course catalog uh, and my offerings. How would I compare CND with other programs? You really can't compare CND directly with another program. Um, as far as its training objectives and what requirements it, requirements it meets for specific DOD standards, um, I like the fact that it maps directly to some of the other certifications that are less inclusive and less valuable for the time investment. So it uh, satisfies certain DOD 8570, 8140 requirements, and it does a better job of giving a more comprehensive training solution more bang for your buck for your time investment for preparing for the exam so it's um nothing really compares it's extremely broad multiple modules very comprehensive there really is no one-to-one -one mapping it, it really does stand on its own ec council courses in general um, one of the things i like about them is that they do pack so much information into a five-day course so i come from like a microsoft background or or a more limited focus where your book for that course is about yay thick, you know, you walk into an EC Council course, it's about yay thick, which is kind of intimidating to begin with, but it's it's a lot of value wrapped into the course, and as long as you approach it correctly, um, it's um, and, and set up your learning strategy, which is one of the first things I do with my students is say, hey guys, look, we're gonna go through this book here, but here's how we're gonna approach it. We're gonna take the first pass through, we're gonna show you the overview, the broad brush strokes, the most pertinent information, build a framework or a knowledge base that you can continue to build on after class versus covering everything you can possibly talk about in the course in five days and then having nothing to work on. So the way the EC Council course were structured is that there's always more to do, there's always more to work on after your initial five days of training. And actually, I recommend or require it. Look, this is multiple passes through this information. It's a lot, but you're gonna get a huge return on your investment for the time and effort you put into preparation. So there really is no direct comparison. They, they stand on their own as far as comprehension, completeness, and, and additional information. And what advice would I give to someone preparing to take the exam? Uh, having a strategy, like I, I just said, the, comp, the courseware is very comprehensive. There's a lot of information. And technically, you've got 3,000 pages of courseware. 
that are all, all fair game for the exam. So my recommendation is that you always take the official training. Um, I prioritize the most pertinent information in class and I organize what's likely to be testable versus what's not likely to be testable for all my students. I put custom exam prep together that targets specific areas to focus on and allows you to kind of prioritize your learning so that you get the best return on your investment time-wise for preparing for the exam. So um, you need to be familiar with the courseware, you need to be familiar with the labs, and some uh, exam preparation is always helpful. And I provide um, exam prep overviews uh, in class and point things out that are part of the exam blueprints that'll point out what you need to know for the exam. So there's definitely a strategy there. Otherwise, again, it's a, it's a, it's a huge volume of information. All right, so um, that's my experience with CND. It's a great course. I uh, definitely recommend anybody who's looking to get started in information security, it's a great place to start as a foundation. So there you go.